Ghana can boast of a flourishing fisheries industry generating approximately $1 billion in revenue annually. However, beneath this profitability lies a complex reality. The cost of catching and managing fisheries in Ghana exceeds the benefits, ultimately burdening the end consumer. In the following report, my colleague Emmanuel Opon delves into the intricacies of fish markets to unravel the dynamics behind price fluctuations. Despite Ghana's coastal abundance teeming with diverse fish species, assessing seafood remains both costly and challenging. Millicent Abbey, a seasoned fishmonger along Jamestown Beach with over two decades of experience, sheds light on the ever-evolving market landscape, particularly over the past year. <laughs> Transitioning from the seaside to a cross bustling inland fish market in Adabraka, where an array of dried, salted and smoked fish from various communities like Daboya, Dambai, Batokope and Yeji are brought in, reveals a stark reality. Vendors lament the staggering price hikes, with fish prices more than doubling in the past year, dampening consumer interest and purchasing power. Additionally, Abna Mary underscores the multifaceted factors propelling the relentless surge in in fish prices, shedding further light on the challenges faced by both vendors and consumers alike. At the forty some of the quetchy and talk, a mom of one who say and twenty at all or five at the vegetarian near Boca, net and Sunia two, petrol Suya two, and see ya my age at the funny and which is our sabrin, Effie, May, June, July, Airport, and just September, Sana. Fish subsector remains a critical component in the overall development of the country. However, traders are blaming factors such as the high cost of pre mixed flow on the hikes in prices. Reporting for CNR Business, my name is Emmanuel Opong.